The drama millions have been begging for is back. What did you just say? Damn. Every Wednesday will be worth the wait. I started all of this. Alex, stop. No. She did. What do you want me to do with this bag of trash? I like him a little crazy. Wait, man, look, look, just hit out. I can't have you know what's going to. You were in the military. You have to know someone. What are you saying? Someone that can kill him. All right, if loving you is wrong, fans, here's my first official episode trailer breakdown. But technically speaking, um, I think that this trailer is kind of like the one we got January the 8th for the haves and have nots after the first episode, I believe was called Speak Through It, where it showed a clip, but instead of just being for the next episode, Battle for the Past, it had seen from every episode from January the 8th to March um, 19th. So I feel that the trailer we got last night was encompassing a lot of scenes from upcoming upcoming episodes of If Love Me Was Wrong. So I will probably still label this as the Red Dress Trailer Breakdown. I haven't decided yet. But jumping into the trailer, we, we got some good stuff now. Uh, looks like Randall is talking to the cops. And thanks to A-Series. Shout out to A-Series for uh, helping, helping me with some of the character names. Uh, it looks like there's a black dude and the other guy was Officer Duncan. And it's pretty much, you know he wants to turn Brad in and it's like, well, it will be your, your word against his. And then Randall's like, I got cameras. And then later on, we see them in the house with Randall at the computer. And then later in the trailer, it looks like officer Duncan's on the phone. And he's like, what do you want me to do to this bag of trash? So most likely in reference to Randall. And I, I was thinking to myself based off the last episode, last night's episode, I think Randall may have wanted to check the cameras first before calling the cop just to make sure that I know who did it, but let me make sure I really know who did it via the cameras. Because for all we know, there might've been adjusting around, you know, messing up the cameras so nothing will show up on the footage, you know? So just to keep that in perspective. Uh, Marcy wants Brad to get someone to kill Randall. Basically, you were in the military, you find someone to kill him. And, you know, Brad's kind of reluctant, but it looks like he probably agrees to it. So who knows? Uh, then it looks like Bennett introduced himself to Natalie, Alex, and Esperanza. He's about to introduce Tanya, but then she just walks off. And it's kind of funny because Natalie or somebody's like, ooh, she's keeping an eye on him. And what really gets it going is Randall looks like he's looking through his blinds at her. He's like, oh, she's obsessive. She's obsessive compulsive. And then later on, it looks like it's nighttime. He's using the binoculars to look through um, the window to see her. It's like, oh, you know, I like a little crazy. So is Randall going to try and hit that? Possibly. Look, I'm not going to lie, I'm black and I have a thing for white women. But at the same time, you know, it's not every single one I meet. So Randall's, come on. Well, what, is this revenge? It's like, oh yeah, because Bennett was hitting on Alex. I want to go and hit on his wife. Probably not the best plan. But later on, we see an interesting scene at night. It looks like um everybody's out in the street. And uh, Tanya is the one that's screaming, going, ah, ah, and then Lucian's like, whoa, 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 we're just trying to, we're only here to help. So it looks like it's Natalie, Lucian, Randall and Alex and probably everybody else because you know everybody's in everybody else's business and it looks like uh, earlier in the scene probably before Bennett shows up Esperanza is trying to console Alex and she's like uh, this is all my far wow I don't I do not know what why that came out of my mouth but um this is all my fault Esperanza is like no it isn't it's like Natalie's like oh yes it is and it's like well yeah she's telling the obvious truth She's not trying to sugarcoat anything. Uh, then we get to, oh, at the beginning of the trailer, you know, Lucian's trying to get confirmation on Kelly's death. Not much to say there because there's not much Kelly in this uh, preview. Alex and Brad stare down. That's pretty much it. Alex looking good in black. Um, there's a bar fight. I don't know who he's fighting, though. It looks like Eddie is interrupting whatever date Esperanza is on in the red dress. Hence why the episode is called the red dress. And uh, I think he even says, like, you know, if I can't have you, no one can. And it looks like, uh, you know, Esperanza slaps Eddie. And then it looks like he's getting behind her in a public location. Like, I don't know what the hell he's doing. And if you notice, it looks like there's like a bloody scar or something on his face, which could be reference to the photo that Joel Rush posted on Instagram uh, last year. So maybe this scene happens after he gets beaten up. I don't know. But, um... It looks like Randall's in Alex's house at some point, Alex and Brad's house, because in the background, you can clearly see uh, the family photo behind him. And it looks like Randall is sitting across from Dr. Ratston at some point in the doctor's office. So, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, basically, uh, guys, like I said in my episode review for Let It Burn, I actually enjoyed If Loving You Is Wrong more than the haves and the have-nots last night. Uh, the channel is growing very quickly. I did see that we had 68,400, but then it dropped by like almost 15 people. My guess is that when people click on the channel, they instantly assume that this is a channel where you can find full episodes, but once they see that's not the case, they click off. But that's okay because when five leave, 15 more come. You know, God's going to multiply this and uh, we'll hit 100,000 soon. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Did you like the trailer for what's to come up this season? Uh, how did you like last night's episode? Will you be watching the night's episode live? And that's one thing I have to make clear. I cannot guarantee that I'm going to be watching and live tweeting every night on Wednesday because it's 10 p.m. I'm not saying that I'll be asleep at that time, but I might be doing other things. So I don't think I will be watching it Wednesday. You can always expect an episode review on Thursday at the latest, but I can't guarantee that I'll have episode reviews up Wednesday night. So just keep that in mind. But I'm looking forward to see what the season is going to bring, uh, what Tanya and B Bennett bring to the table. And as always, hit that subscribe button, share the video around, you know, share the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you don't mind, this is the only other video I have to do today. I had to do my episode review for last night, my episode preview for the season and tonight's episode all in one. I have about 49 eBay things that sold yesterday. So I have until Friday to mail them off. But I'm trying to get everything done today, not in a rush, but it seems like I'm moving at a pretty good schedule based off my to do list. Yes, I do have numerous have and have not videos to do. I'm not going to rush them out, though. I'm probably going to wait until after tonight's If Loving You Is Wrong. Then, of course, I'll do another episode review and trailer breakdown for next Wednesday. And then, of course, after this week, everything will be slowed back down and back in a normal pacing. So, Lion Tattoo stuff, what the uh, Charles and Candace had to go through, um, talking about Veronica's ex-lover who was abusive, what kind of favor Mitch might possibly ask from Benny, uh, the shotgun. There's there are so many other topics, so don't think that this channel is going to stop have and have not content. You are sorely mistaken. But thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to edit this really quick, post my episode review and trailer breakdown both at the same time, and then go about you know doing what I got to do. So I can't guarantee I'll watch the episode live tonight. I might. We'll see. But, you know, whatever. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you in the next video.